Recently, a few of you have asked, what's the deal with rotary engines? Now everyone knows the Mazda RX-7 and the newer RX-8 use a rotary engine, and for good reason. Rotary engines are lighter and more compact than their piston-driven counterparts. For convenience, we'll explain a two-rotor design. Now the rotary engine is made up of a housing that contains two rotors and an output shaft. The output shaft has lobes that are mounted off-center, and the rotors fit onto these lobes. Now the rotors have three rounded sides that each act like a piston, and at the apex of each face is a blade that forms a seal. As the rotor moves inside the housing, it creates three chambers that expand and contract, producing a pumping action. As a tip of the rotor passes over the intake port, the fuel-air mixture is drawn into the chamber. Another tip seals off the chamber and the rotor starts to compress the mixture. The compressed mixture is then ignited by a pair of plugs to ensure a uniform burn. The pressure then forces the rotor around to the exhaust port where the gases are then released. As this process happens, the rotor spins the output shaft three times for every one revolution of the rotor. Besides being lighter in weight, the rotary engine is also less complex. Using only three moving parts compared to at least 40 for a simple piston engine. With fewer moving parts, most rotary engines are more reliable, but there are drawbacks. Manufacturing costs tend to be higher because of the low volume of rotary engines produced and it's more difficult to get them to meet U.S. emission regulations. But applied correctly, especially in a performance vehicle where weight is a huge factor, a rotary engine can produce wonderful results.